Yeah, yeah. Why is it so important that we talk? I mean, unless you've decided to share information that could benefit both of us. <sighs> no, Fox, that's not what I'm calling about. Okay, then why are you calling? She's not here. Maybe she went to bed. Well, she still has to be told. All right, I'll tell her she has to go when I see her. Good. Wharf, 15 minutes. Okay, I'll be there. If Eve thinks that making me move out is going to solve all her problems, she can just think again. This is going to stick it to her butt good. Oh, Ethan, I got her to call. Oh, my God, she's hurting. Dr. Russell! Right away. Dr. Russell, please. Hey, you have to help her. You've got to save her and the baby, all right? So, was that the call from the woman you love? The one that's leaving Harmony? Yeah, uh, Harmony to Los Angeles. Hi. Two people, one way. I'm sorry. We are interrupting. I, I should have just called first, but... Too late now. Um, did, did I just hear right? Reservations to L.A. for two. One way. Well, um, I've made my decision. I'm going to California with Chad. Oh, my God, that is great. What changed your mind? Well, I decided that I can't live without him. Um, especially now that I'm going to be his wife. What? Chad asked me to marry him, and I said yes. No. Nope. The call wasn't from her. I wonder. That look in your eyes, something's going on. Hmm. Listen, um, I, I gotta go somewhere, so I'll talk to you later. Is that... Yeah. Okay? All right. All right, take care. Bye. this mystery woman is leaving Harmony, then why won't he tell me who she is? And what harm could it do? Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry that I keep crying. I, I just miss my family so much. Now that we're getting married, we are going to be our own family. I hadn't thought of that. Look, baby, you are just going through a rough patch. All right? Things will get better. I promise. Oh, Chad. Thank you so much for being my rock. I love you, Whitney. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you happy. I know that. That's why I love you so much. <sighs> hey, let's go down to the book cafe. I'll show you some books on California. I'll show you how great L.A. is. Sure. Trust me, baby, when we get out to California, I'm going to make all of your dreams come true. Being Mrs. Chad Harris is my dream come true. I'm telling you, Sheridan was kidnapped. Sheridan was not kidnapped. Her suitcase was gone, some of her clothes, not to mention her passport. It's obvious that Sheridan left town on her own. Yeah, unless the kidnapper was smart enough to make it look like she left on her own. <sighs> you know, you had me worried there for a while, Bethy. I thought you were cracking under the pressure. Oh, no. I love pressure. Eat it up. <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah, well, um, okay. Well, we got to get Sheridan out of here. 
Yeah, and into the pit. All right. But first, we... We gotta make it look like she left of her own accord. How are we gonna do that? Um... Pack her up. Well, don't just stand there, Charlie. Well, what should I do? Um... Um... Get her passport. That'll make it look like she left the country. Passport? Right. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty good little cover you came up with. Police, Beth and Gwen were right outside the door. A kidnapper would not have time to stage her leaving town. Look, I don't have all the answers, okay? But I'm a cop. And my instincts are telling me that Sheridan and her baby are in danger and that we have to find them. And soon! That scream sounded like it was coming from Beth's house. Someone's in trouble. Police, stop being so headstrong and listen to me for a minute. Okay, what? I think Sheridan left town to get rid of the pressure that she was feeling. Now, if you go after her with an all-out search, all you're going to do is scare her. Scaring her how? Make her stay away longer. Make her feel like she's been forced to come back here before she's ready to. Well, I'd agree if Sheridan had left on her own, but she didn't. She was kidnapped, okay? So coming back isn't a choice. Well, I don't believe that. Well, you're wrong. Luis, come with me. Luis. You're a first-rate cop. You know I respect you. But I think your love for Sheridan is clouding your judgment about her being kidnapped. Antonio made some good points. Her luggage is missing, so so is her clothes. Hank! Just stop right there, okay? Now, I know Sheridan better than anyone. And I'm telling you, Sheridan would not just run off to avoid her problems. Besides, Sheridan swore to me that all this talk about her leaving town was just that. Talk! Yeah, okay. Antonio not knowing about us was getting to her. But, uh, look, Sheridan and I, we made a vow never to be apart again. And I know that Sheridan would never willingly break that vow. Okay, she was kidnapped, and I'm gonna find her. Luis is sticking to his guns. How can you when both the evidence and what Beth says goes against that? Look, Beth, you said that Sheridan... Felt like she was upset and confused, right? And she thought by leaving town, it would make all our lives easier. Right? Wrong. Sheridan would never just leave town, okay? She was kidnapped. I'm telling you, she was kidnapped. Now, I'm gonna find her. No matter what. with the axe, and you were upstairs. Beth told you about that? We're very close. Here. What is that thing? It distorts your voice. You are going to scare that poor girl to death. And that would be a problem because... Scream all you want, Blondie. Nobody is coming to save you. <laughs> Excuse 
screaming stopped. I was so sure that it was coming from Beth's house, but maybe I was wrong. What do you think? had another vision of Sharon and Miguel. She's being attacked by clowns. There's that screaming. It's definitely coming from Beth's house. I just called. He finally went to sleep. Oh, good. Um, you know what? Why don't you come to the book cafe with us? Chad is going to show me some books about how wonderful Los Angeles is. Yeah, is Fox still around? He should come, too. No. Nope. He's gone. After he got a mysterious phone call to meet someone. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> I know you make it sound like he's in the CIA or something. No, he's in LUV. Oh, man, is in love? Wait, since when? <laughs> well, okay, you didn't hear this from me, but he met someone who's got to him, but good. And I don't know how she feels about him, but he's definitely head over heels in love with her. Wow. Who is she? I don't know. Well, from what I've seen of Fox, he definitely seems like a man who gets what he wants. I'm sure he's going to make this woman his, no matter what he has to do. loved beautiful things. You, Whitney Russell. You are a beautiful woman. Very beautiful. There's that look again. What look? You, it, love struck. Who are you thinking about? But just, I'm not thinking about anybody. Oh, liar, liar, heart of fire, fox. <laughs> You are falling in love. The question is, with whom? Awfully sudden, isn't it? I'm, I mean, you deciding to move to L.A. with Chad? I, I thought you were going to stay in Harmony for at least six months anyway. Well, yeah, but I changed my mind. I wonder what I can do to keep Whitney from marrying Chad, moving to L.A. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Hmm. Punctual and polite. You want something, Liz. You want it bad. The question is what? I want to buy the blue note. Uh, uh. Okay, I need the vitals to prepare for an ultrasound. Oh. Yes, Dr. Russell. I need to know exactly when Gwen's problem started. Well, it was, uh, it was right before I called. But before that, she was, she was saying that she wasn't feeling well. well. What do you think is going on? What is wrong with her? Well, it could be Braxton Hicks. It's a false labor, but I won't know until I run some more tests. She has to be all right. She and the baby, they have to be all right. Ethan, it's understandable you're upset, but Gwen couldn't be in better hands. Eve's absolutely the best, best doctor in harmony. You just wait here, try not to worry, and I will update you as soon as I know more. Once I see that my Gwen is all right, I'm going to find out what's really going on between you and Eve. Save your imagination for the boudoir. I'm gonna go get us some coffee. Why don't you stay here? Keep an eye on Ethan. Ethan. 
Look, I know that you think that I'm a shallow, opportunistic sexaholic. And maybe I am. But I really do care for you. I mean, you make my Gwenny happy, and that makes me happy. So for, well, whatever, I, I'm here for you. Thanks. Thanks, Rebecca. Poor, poor Gwenny. We both love her so much, and now this. Yeah, you know, one minute she's fine, and the next minute she's, she's doubled over in pain. All right. She and the baby, they have to be all right. Oh, oh it hurts. It hurts so much. Yeah, BP is elevated. Should I prepare an injection of tributylene in case she's gone into premature labor? No. No, I still don't know what's wrong. My baby, my baby, please. Don't let me lose my baby. You want to buy the blue note? That's right. Why on earth would you want to own a jazz club here in Harmony when you already have a hotel down in the islands? It's a sound investment. Sound investment. Yeah, well, even so, I mean, shouldn't you be worried about getting back to your business on St. Lisa's instead of tying yourself to a business here? Now, Fox, why would you care? Why do you really want to buy the Blue Note? Now I know it's true. There's not one second or two. Live without you. No, I'm dizzy, Lindsay. Wait, wait. Come home with me, please. I, I need you. Oh, come with me. Come with me. Oh, I have something I'll make you feel so good, girl. No, come. No, come home with me. I need you. Mom needs you. Why are you all the time trying to just bring me down, huh? Your wish is whining all the time. You whine. No, not this time. I gotta go to a party. I'm gonna party this. I know, I gotta party, girl. Are you coming? Come. You know, you said you wanted me to open up, share some secrets. Yeah. Just one? I have a score to settle. And buying the blue note would be like hammering the last nail in my enemy's coffin. Dr. Russell, what's wrong? Am I losing my baby? I don't know anything yet. Gwen, I'm still assessing your condition. But I want you to take deep, easy breaths. And try and think past the pain. Any clue what the problem is? Not yet. It could be any number of things. None of them good. What are you saying, Doctor? I'm saying Gwen and her baby are both in serious danger. Dispatch. It's Lopez Fitzgerald. You got any news on the search for Sheridan? Damn it. All right, just call me as soon as you hear anything. It's like she vanished into thin air. Anything I could do to help? Yeah, pray we get a lead on who kidnapped Sheridan. At least I'm telling you, when she gets to where she's going, she's gonna call and tell us if she's okay. Yeah, well, she can't if she's being held hostage. Louise, come on, you're a cop. Look at the evidence. Look, Sheridan's stuff being gone isn't evidence, okay? It's a setup to cover up her being kidnapped. Look, I think that Sheridan was pretending to be asleep when Beth and Gwen were in the bedroom. Her bags were already packed. It was easy for her to get away. How? Okay, Sheridan's car is still in the garage. She didn't call for a limo to take her anywhere. What, she, she's just supposed to walk off the estate? There were guards everywhere. I don't know how she did it, okay? But Beth and Gwen would have heard something in here. They would have seen something. Not to mention the fact that Sheridan had mentioned to other people that she had to escape the pressures of harmony. She was just frustrated, okay? No offense, Louise, but I'm Sheridan's husband and I know her better than anyone else. Now, I think she ran away. 
Look, my Sheridan would never run away. You're Sheridan. What the hell are you talking about? Someone help me. Please. It's always about you, isn't it, Blondie? Here, you can't whine and scream at the same time. Oh, oh. If someone catches us here with Sheridan, I could go to jail with you in bed. Oh, no. I gotta keep practicing my senile acts. <laughs> Papa's gonna fight the Kaiser, won't he, Mama? He's so brave. He's so strong. Shut up. No one's gonna hear Sheridan scream. She's in a pit in your basement. Sounds carry, especially screams. Why, when I was dating, my neighbors complained all the time. <laughs> yeah, you uh, worry too much. There's no way anyone's gonna hear Sheridan scream. Precious must have left it open when she went upstairs. Damn it. If we get caught, this is all your fault. Me? What did I do? If you were so old and incontinent, Precious wouldn't be here. Oh, would you just forget about me? Now, what are you going to do if those kids find Sheridan? Is anyone in there? Hello? Miguel? You got a score to settle? That's interesting. Who with? How much do you want for the Blue Note Fox? The score that you have to settle, I mean, wouldn't happen to have anything to do with the Russells, would it? You know, Fox, now you know I have an agenda. Let's just leave it at that. Unless, of course, you want to lay some of your cards on the table. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that one, at least for now. How much do you want for the blue note? This is just funny how our lives seem to be revolving around the Russells, don't you think? Your words, not mine. Liz, come on, admit it. It's true. Okay. I'll admit it. If you'll admit that you're in love with Whitney Russell. What? Oh, come on, don't deny it. I know you're in love with her. Right, that's view of downtown from Mohan Drive. Uh, and that's the park overlooking the beach in Santa Monica. Oh, wow, it all looks incredible. Hey, someone's getting psyched up by moving to L.A. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I am. <laughs> okay, let's see. My family used to take vacations together every year. And, uh, hey, now... Let's not think about what you're losing, okay? Let's think about what you're gaining by moving to L.A. with Chad, all right? You're going to start a new life together as husband and wife. He's going to be producing music. You are going to be a professional singer. Yeah. But even so, I think it's going to take me a little while to get over losing my family. Yeah, but it's natural, okay? But you're going to be all right. Because true love is a great healer. And I know you and Chad share true love. Yeah. Just like Ethan and I do. Well, what'd you say? Oh, Teresa, don't tell me. You still think you have a future with Ethan? Uh, this waiting is killing me. Ethan, why don't you take a walk? Burn off some of that nervous energy. I'll, I'll stay here in case there's any word on Gwen. Thanks. I won't be gone long. 
Oh, oh, excuse me. Is, is there any word on Gwen Winthrop? Oh, not that I've heard. I'm sorry. Thanks anyway. Yeah, my dear. Oh, thanks, Pookie. Where's Ethan? Well, I, I suggested he take a little walk, try to calm his nerves. Take it, there's been no word. No. My poor Gwenny could really lose her baby. How awful. It'd be tragic. And in more ways than one. How so? why Ethan chose to marry Gwen as opposed to Teresa was because Gwen was pregnant with his child. And if she loses this baby, I'm... I'm just afraid that she'll lose Ethan to Teresa. What are you talking about? You're Sheridan. Luis didn't mean anything, Antonio. It's just how he gets when he handles a case. I'm learning the same thing at the police academy right now. How you kind of adopt a victim personalized things so that it helps you think clearer. Really? Yeah, you make the victim part of your family. That way you can get inside their head and understand their thinking. That's what Luis meant by saying that his Sheridan wouldn't run away. Well, I guess that makes sense. Her being part of our family and all now. I mean, Luis is her brother-in-law. <sighs> Look. Luis, I know you're a good cop, and I know you're trying to help out as best you can. But I really think Sheridan ran away and left on her own free will. Now, I'm going to go call some of the hotels in Boston, at least see if she stayed there for the night. Anything. You have no reason to worry. All right. Look, I know you meant well covering for me, but I should have just gone ahead and told Antonio the damn truth. That Sheridan is mine, and that the baby she's carrying is probably mine, too. I know how anxious you are to get this all out in the open, but now is not the time. Not with Sheridan missing. Maybe you're right. It's just so damn frustrating. Lopez Fitzgerald. It's dispatch. Any news yet on Sheridan? I hope not. That would mean Charlie's having trouble with Sheridan at my house. Is anybody home? We heard screaming like someone needs help. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna stay down here with our guest and you. You're gonna go upstairs and take care of those damn kids. Me? How? Oh, I don't know. Let him get a whiff of you. Oh, I am serious. I don't care how you do it. Tell him you were screaming in your sleep. Just make those damn brats leave. And no matter what, don't let them come inside because if they come down here and find me in Sheridan, you won't live to collect next month's social security check. <laughs> Miguel! Miguel! Shut up or die. Hello? Let's go. No one's home. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Oh! Is it Halloween already? Mrs. Wallace, uh, it's Miguel, Luis's brother. I'm Charity. Remember? Oh, yeah, right. Are you okay, Mrs. Wallace? We heard someone inside screaming. Miguel. Please help me. Miguel. I'm concerned about Gwen losing the baby, but it's such a tragedy to be compounded by Ethan leaving Gwen for Teresa. I believed him to be my son for over 20 years. He's not that kind of man. He believes in the holy sanctity of marriage. And once taken, it's a commitment that can't be broken. Strangely enough, I admire him for that. 
That is strange, considering you've never followed the church's teachings on marriage. Father forced me to marry Ivy. Julian, I'm so worried about Gwen. She could actually lose her baby. And if she does, then Teresa is going to move in on Ethan like the vulture that she is. Is uh, there any word from Gwen or the baby? No. No, nothing. This can't be good. What is going on? How is she? Well, we're monitoring both Gwen and the baby, but I'm hesitant to speculate on what might be wrong until, until I see her test results. You must know something. Well, I can say that Gwen's condition is extremely delicate. What does that mean, exactly? Uh, uh, Dr. Russell, the patient's having another episode. Uh, oh, my baby. What's the baby's heart? Oh. 120. Oh, Dr. Russell, I'm 98. No. Relax, relax, breathe. Miguel, please help me. Shut up. Miguel, help me. I said shut up or I'll kill you. You... You heard someone screaming? Here, in, in my house? Yes. It must have been precious. She shrieks every time she has to change my diaper. No, Mrs. Walsh, it wasn't an animal. It was a human. Oh, well, I might have cried out when she flipped me over to powder me, you know, but I... Um, look, I've been having premonitions. Sheridan is in danger. Oh, you have? Yeah, you know, I don't know if Beth told you this or not, but we think that Sheridan might have been kidnapped. <gasps> Oh, no. And when I heard the screams, I instantly saw her in trouble. Oh. So, can we come in and take a look around? I mean, maybe Sheridan escaped her kidnapper and she came here for help. She could be hurt, Mrs. Walsh. She could be unconscious in your yard or in your house and you wouldn't even know it. Oh, I, I haven't heard anything. Oh, well, Mrs. Wallace, this could be why um, your hearing aid fell out. Oh, oh, well... Yeah, yeah, so, so it did. <laughs> you don't mind if we come in and take a look around, do you? Um... Someone... Please, please help me! I'm in love with Whitney Russell. No, come on, what are you talking about? Oh, Foss, come on, don't deny it. See, the way you look at her, it's obvious how you feel. Yeah. You're still way off base. Am I? Let's see. Whitney's moving to L.A., and suddenly you're selling the blue note. Hmm. Could it be you're selling so you can follow her? Teresa, about Ethan, maybe you should... She is married to Gwen. She's having his baby. Ethan is only married to Gwen because she's having his baby. No, not this again. You guys, we share a love as strong as your love for each other. And even after everything that has happened, I still believe that true love will win out in the end. Just wait and see. Something's going to happen that's going to bring us back together. <sighs> Ow! Oh! That's the fetal heart monitor. Doctor, there's something wrong with the baby. Ethan, please. Come on. Sorry, I know the doctor has everything under control. The baby's in serious danger. I know. Give her four grams of magnesium sulfate. If we can't help Gwen soon, her baby will die. Sheridan isn't registered in any of the hotels I called in Boston. Well, that's because she was kidnapped. This is Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Now look, I want the search for Sheridan Crane stepped up. 
All right? I want them to search every car leaving Harmony. All right, go door to door, whatever it takes. Okay. Look, sooner or later, this kidnapper is going to make a mistake, and we're going to end up finding Sheridan, all right? What's to me? Shut up. Don't make a sound, or it'll be your last. Well, you kids are welcome to come in, but there's nothing wrong here. You see, any screams you might have heard came from me or the, the, the monkey. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wallace, but there's something definitely wrong. Here. You're right, Miguel. Something's horribly wrong. You didn't hear the screaming that Charity and I heard because your hearing aid was turned off. But trust me, someone's here and they're in trouble. It could be Sheridan. I know you are worried about Sheridan, so am I. Mrs. Wallace, just, just relax, okay? If Sheridan's here, we'll find her. I'm gonna search the house, starting with the basement. Oh. oh, no. If those kids find Sheridan, I could go to jail, too. Please, God. Please send someone to save me.